Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Xander finds the crucial to proving his innocence while Brady demands Tate's freedom Xander comes home to Sarah with all the substantiation the execution has against him. Sarah assures him she believes in him, but she has to go to work, so she see and sift through it with him. Alone with Victoria, Xander vows to make his son proud of him. At the halfway house, Tate fiercely defends Holly to Teresa. She explodes over what a fabricator she is. Calming down, Teresa calls what Tate feels for Holly a temporary crush, not commodity that will last decades. Tate reminds her he's not middle-aged and looking to get wedded. She counters that he's ready to start having connections, the key to which is collective respect. Commodity Holly easily does end half for him. Tate knows Holly has her reasons for not telling the verity. Teresa asks if he trusts Holly to always be honest and have his reverse. At the manse, Holly tearfully confesses the medicines were hers. Brady shouts at her for what Tate's been going through. You seriously do not believe this story do you? EJ asks Nicole, who growls, EJ, please. Holly knows she should have told everyone sooner. Upon learning Eric knew, Nicole asks why she went to him and not her. Holly explains she was hysterical Nicole would condemn herself. EJ asks if Tate was her dealer. Holly insists Tate had nothing to do with her taking the medicines. In fact, he advised her against it. EJ scoffs, egging Brady to invite Elvis to take this outside. Eric demands everyone calm down and let Holly speak. Holly reiterates how upset she was that Nicole would condemn herself. After Nicole reassures her son, Brady rails at the teen for landing Tate in the halfway house. Holly apologizes, wishing she told the Verity from the morning. EJ asks how they know she's telling the Verity right now. As evidence, Holly reveals her medicine store in a secret cube in her jewelry box. When Brady asks why she let Tate take the blame, Nicole suggests the coma affected her memory. Holly admits that's not the reason. She just didn't know how to take back the first teradiddle. Brady demands EJ get his sprat out of the halfway house and drop all the charges incontinently. He also wants a veritably public reason to his son. He storms out. Sneering, EJ does the same. When Holly runs out in gashes, Eric consoles a distraught Nicole. Further, the way home sees in homestretch twist, Sarah enters a sanitarium room to an awaiting Paulina and Abe. After looking through her test results, Sarah declares that Paulina is in complete absolution. Paulina excitedly hugs Sarah, who explains she ll have to return for radioactive iodine treatments that involve her being in insulation for a many days. In the Demera living room, Eric assures Nicole she's a good mama. She doesn't feel like one, but hopes Holly learns from her miscalculations. EJ trudges back to the room. It's taken care of. After Nicole thanks Eric for being there for Holly, he leaves. Eric finds a crying Holly outside the manse. He says it was a stalwart thing she did in there. She tells him she loves him and occasionally wishes he and her mama never mind. Eric says they re both wedded to other people now, which means indeed further people watch about Holly. Eric states he's always there for her. More questioning Maggie's judgment, cheering Jada Xander gapes pensively while sitting on his settee with his laptop after Xander gets Victoria to sleep, he digs into the flash drive and files the execution was needed to expose to Justin. When Sarah calls, he bemoans getting nowhere. She suggests he go for a jam with Victoria in her new stroller. Hanging up, Xander plans to change into the running gear he always wears, which makes a light bulb go off. He rechecks a substantiation statement. Noting that's what he gets for wearing the same tracksuit all the time, he declares, this is it. It's a slam immerse. He tells Victoria, your daddy's going to be free. Upon coming home, Paulina mentions her iodine treatment, but for now, she isn't going to worry. Abe assures her it's standard procedure, and she ll get through it with flying colors. More meet the new Tate hugging Brady at the halfway house, Tate smiles at Teresa Brady comes to the halfway house upon talking with Justin. He tells Tate to pack his bags. 
Yuri coming home. All the charges have been dropped because Holly admitted the verity. Tate wants to call her, but Brady suggests he stay until he settles him back at home. Teresa makes it clear she's still veritably angry over what Holly put him through. Tate was angry too, but she came through for him indeed after he told her she didn't have to. Brady and Teresa roll over Tate's continued protection of her, but agree to let it go. Brady gathers Tate in a bare clinch. At the manse, Nicole thanks EJ for having the charges against Tate dropped. EJ knows Holly's deception has been importing on the teen and that she cares for Tate a great deal. Still, he wonders who she did get the medicines from. Nicole knows they LL have to question her. EJ assures Nicole they LL help Holly through this together as a family. Jessica Surfity makes a big advertisement, but is there further to it than meets the eye? All products and services featured are singly chosen by editors. Still, Soaps.com may admit a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may admit certain auditable data for counting purposes. We all know that Sloane's wedded life with Eric is far from perfect on days of our lives. Piecemeal from the big secret hanging over her head that she stole Nicole's baby, she's also battling through frequent bouts of covetousness that little Jude is getting further attention from Eric than she is. Having a baby sounded like the perfect way to get her man and keep him down from his partner, but the reality for a woman who, as Leo put it does and have a maternal bone in her body, is far different. Luckily, real life is nothing like a cleaner pieces. So when Jessica Surfity participated on Instagram back in July that she said yes to Bo Leonardo Del Vecchio's offer, we didn't feel anything but excitement and joy for the happy couple. Since also, they've e been a bit mute about when the factual day would be, but also, suddenly, it looked like the day eventually came. Because on Monday, Surfity and Del Vecchio participated a common Instagram post of what looks like a form from a manbag in Rajasthan, India with the caption, Well we did it. With that said, the couple did post it on April 1st, which, as we all know, is also April Fool's Day. We re always conservative whenever anything is blazoned on this day. But life does end stop just because it's April 1st and a spring marriage in India sounds downright beautiful. At this point, thanks to how far in advance days of our lives shoots, Surfity and the rest of the cast have likely mugged the resolution to the Baby Jude saga. Actually, however, nothing is certain when it comes to Salem. But unless Eric is veritably forgiving, we do not see his and Sloane's marriage lasting once the verity comes out. Surfity and Del Vecchio, however, look to have a far more stable relationship than Sloane ever pulled off and we wish the happy couple only the stylish whenever they start their new life together. That day, still, is ent moment. Because while the post looked legal, despite the date, on April 1st, nothing is any more certain than on days of our lives. And a couple hours latterly, Surfity participated an update on her Instagram stories. April Fools, she wrote. As if we did get married without our musketeers and family. Soon to be. You silly kitties. Okay, we ll admit it, they got us. As far as April Fool's capriccios go, this bone. Was well allowed. Out. But hey, we re still happy for Surfity and Del Vecchio, and are sure the factual big day is going to be inconceivable. Holly has been trying to tell the verity about her medicine overdose for periods. When she at last stuns everyone with the details, will they eventually not only hear, but believe her? EJ is lower than thrilled by how probative Eric is when Nicole processes what she's learned.